Speaking of, shoving it, speaking of shoving it, Martha, the Democrat taking shrapnel from all sides, Caprio is. Here are the lumps he took in last night's debate from the Republican in that race in Rhode Island. I really need to weigh in. This is one of two things. This is either a man who is not mature enough or doesn't possess the temperament to make good decisions and act like a, a potential governor, or it's a petulant little child reacting to not getting his own way. Either way, he did not act appropriately. I differ from President Obama in a lot of policy ways. I do. All right, I but I would never disrespect the President of the United States the way this man did. Mr. Robitaille. I'm going to behave the way I want to behave up at that state house because people are not in behaving like a governor, Frank. People in Rhode Island are hurting right now. People are sitting around in their in their homes tonight, and they don't know if they're going to be able to pay the rent next week when it's due. They don't know if they're going to be able to pay the mortgage next week when it's due. And if it takes telling someone to shove it, I'm going to tell them to shove it because I'm going to fight for Rhode Island every day when I'm up at that state house. That, that's a good little battle, huh? It is. <laughs> nice exchange. Independent Lincoln Chafee calling the comments unfortunate, and the candidate for the moderation party using no moderation in his criticism, calling Caprio a quote knucklehead. Well, here's where we are in Rhode Island, a, a state that's been racked with unemployment. Caprio's at 32 percent, Chafee at 30, and Robitaille at 20 percent, trailing third. We should note the polls were taken before Caprio told the president, uh, you know, to. Shove well, it. You gotta give him credit for one thing. I guess he said it and he's gonna stand by it. He's not gonna run away right. from having said it, so he says he'd say it again.